uh, busy with week two. I haven't got much time lately to go on there, so I'm still busy there with the but I'm not getting the, the full grip on OOP yet, um, but I am, I am exploring more um, more resources to get to know OOP better. The video of Mos Hamadani is quite advanced, if I must say so. Um, lots of uh, people said to me that it's, that it's quite advanced. So I also found it very advanced myself. Um, but it's okay, we'll... But the, the, um, I recommend it to everyone going on with the course after the video if they find the video too difficult because it's it's actually the way that you guys are explaining this a bit better um, to, to grasp the concepts better. So I really enjoy doing it that way instead. Uh, just, it just feels that the time is a bit limited um, to get through everything because we um, we need to we need to get started on our capstone projects now and to finish that. So we don't have too much time to, oh, let me put it this way, enough time to um, explore a bit more with the code um, per section, if you understand what I mean, because there's, I feel that there's not enough time in a day to do that also, but it's fine. With, oh, I'm going on as I go. That's all I can say. I'm I'm, I'm getting familiar with the, the, the topics and then I'm just, you know, learning as I go. That's all I can, I can say, but it's going okay, guys. Uh, the support is, I just... Um, expected a bit more support from the people, uh, especially with the lists and so on. It feels like we are dealing with a, um, some people are behaving as if they are on pre-primary still because um, we um, struggle to get information from them, uh, just <laughs> basic information. But um, not to be rude, but in the professional world, it's very important to be on time and to respond to emails and to respond to WhatsApp. So. Um, yeah, regarding that, I'm not not happy with that, but it's okay. It's finally done. Um, so yeah, thanks, guys. That's all I have to say for today. Tell me more. Tell me more about the dynamics in the team. Is it is is it a, is it in the team leads the the um, the groups of four where you're facing issues, or is it with the entire cohort? No, it's, it's basically with the entire cohort. Um, look, I, I know everybody's got responsibilities and all that. There's people that has got a full-time job that don't get around to. I completely understand that. But um, uh, as you'll hear from the other cohort as well, we created a group where we talk to each other as leaders uh, so we can can, um, can find out uh, if they got the same issues, more or less. Um, because they do also, uh, they also said it took them three days, basically, just to get answers from everybody. Uh, I just feel if there is a group and you do give an opinion in the group, you are entitled to an, uh, for an answer, whether it takes three days or not. It's not supposed to take so long. Um, but, I mean, if it takes so long, it's it's quite a frustration because, like yesterday, I spent my whole day actually messaging everyone separately just to get information from them by wasting my time also to go on with my studies. So that's that's the, that's the tricky part there. But, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll deal with it. All right. All good. All good. All good. And what are what are the other challenges as the as the as the as your captain as the captain of your team? What are the challenges and what are the things that you would like to say to everyone? Because I've also noticed that you guys try to arrange your inter inter student meeting. The June guys did it very well. The May guys did it, but they didn't. The turnout was not as great but then you guys did not even do it at all and that's actually quite surprising because this is the group with the most number of people yeah um look from my side um everybody would agree that is reading the messages i did try on friday i did 24 hours later on friday morning early i left a message on the on the group asking everyone if it's possible for a meeting on saturday because i thought maybe People are too busy in the week. Maybe they can make make one hour or half an hour's time during the weekend time. I was also away, um, so but I'm not using that for an excuse. If someone asked me any question, I would have answered it in any way. But um, I'm asking. I was asking there for a meeting, and in 24 hours time, there was not even one response except for Sarge and uh, the ball. They sent me a message. And um, I mean, and, and uh, so that's 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 not quite the response I'm expecting. So, 
like I said, my problem is not um, waiting for people to answer. It's the amount of time that I have to wait for people because I mean, it's it's um, nobody even uh, recommended there. Okay, can we you know can we schedule this meeting for next week Monday? But I even asked, can people just say simply yes or no uh, to attend the meeting? There was no response. So from my side, maybe I'm a bad team leader. I don't know. Maybe people don't like me. Maybe people don't want to work with me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the, the issue is. Um, but um, from my side, I really did try and set up a meeting. I know there would have been two people who would have attended the meeting um, that I know would have. But I, I'm not going to hold a meeting for two people if I can just talk to them randomly because nobody, there was no one else interested in this. Um, 18 people in the group, I mean, 18 people, out of 18 people, two people responding. That's, that's really, it's, it's bad. It's sad from my side, I'm, I'm disappointed in the group actually, um, because we, we are, we are actually, we are the first people in the company to, to start this cohort. And, um, and we, and I mean, we're doing this this way. So from my side, I'm really disappointed. That's all I can say for the other members. Um, I know everybody's got excuses, everybody's got work to do. But um, then you can you can at least make time to you can send a message to your lover or you can send a message to your grandma. You can send a message to me also if you can read it because most people that read it. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks. All right. Yeah, it's not it's not good to hear that you called for a meeting that we said is required because for everyone here who is on this call, let me just quickly go through. Everyone here signed up for Microsoft Academy on a full-time basis. And that was to say you work for at least eight hours a day. And I'm sure everyone knows, everyone knows that you work at least eight hours a day. That was the arrangement when we accepted everyone in because we know that this thing is demanding. At first, it wasn't as demanding, especially if you came with some experience like your HTML, your CSS, and you knew stuff. But now it's demanding. Now it's it needs it need you need to finish OOP and ES6 and your capstone project in two weeks. And if you're not putting in eight hours a day, you simply won't be able to make it. It's the bottom line. Or maybe you will you will make it, or you will you will I mean you will be a part of a group of, of, of four people and then only two people do the work and you do make it because other people did the work for you. But at the end of the day, the only person who's going to suffer is you because when you sit in that, in that technical interview, you are alone. You don't have anyone else. And if you, if you cannot, if you cannot work under pressure, I, I, I myself can't vouch for you. If, if, you're being told things to do to, to help you succeed because this, this is not like we're, we're out here just trying to add tasks onto your day. This is to help you succeed at the end of the day. And if we hear that a meeting was called and only three people raised their hands to attend, how can I go to companies and say, I vouch for this person when the per when I know for a fact that this person is not reliable. So so far in my mind, I only have three people that I can I can vouch for. Bradley is the fourth. I understand Bradley because Bradley is working already and is is Bradley. I understand. I can forgive. Right. So right now, I only have three people that I can vouch for, and that's sad because the whole point of Microsoft Academy was to get people jobs. But it seems like people are not serious. Uh, yes, John Andre. Uh, according to Brad, don't worry about him. He did respond to my message that I sent privately to him as well. So he he's also clear on there. Even even though he worked, he did find the time to respond to me. So that's that's good from his side. Thanks, Brad. And also, if you're unable to attend, at least just let us know that you can't make it i think it's really bad and it reflects badly on you as a person when you're asked something and it takes you 24 hours to respond knowing fully well that you signed up to do this thing full-time you said you would do it full-time 
So let's let's work on that, guys. Especially on this capsule. This capsule project is not a joke. It's very difficult. It's very time consuming, and it needs teamwork. It needs collaboration because not you're not gonna do everything on your own, right? You can't you can't do everything on your own. You have to work in teams. You have to cut the work in in groups and in in small chunks, which each person is responsible for a certain chunk. So if you can't work in teams, you are already behind the eight ball and you're in trouble. And we want you guys to succeed. I think by now you guys get the feeling that this, we really want you, our success comes from you. So if you guys are not pulling your way, then it's not, doesn't reflect well on us as well. So yeah. All right, cool. Any anyone else with anything that they would like to share? Even in the in the chat, you can also just pop something through in the chat. Uh, yes, John Andre. Okay, then without all the tenseness, on a positive note, thank you. I'm so glad to see that the AI webinar is coming to light on Thursday. Yeah, that one is definitely, it's definitely on the way. It's ready now for exploration. So we've invited two speakers to come through and, and um share we've invited C uh, one cto and one senior software engineer to come through and share how they use ai on a day-to-day -day. and then in that in that same webinar we'll also introduce the um, our ai course as well that you guys can take so i hope i hope there is some sort of i hope you guys get some value learn learn from seniors I've always found I always find that when we when we invite seniors, like when we did invite Darren and um, Daniel at the open day, the value shared was just immense. So we want to see if we can do this on a much more regular basis. Just hosting these online webinars where seniors come in, drop some few nuggets, and leave. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. Mm. Okay, and does anyone have anything that they are struggling with that they need help with or anything that they need an explanation with? Please feel free. Uh, yes, Taffy. Okay, um, first of all, I'd like to apologize to John. Yeah, it's been kind of hectic, you know, but um, that's not an excuse for not communicating. Okay, um, personally, I really think that um, advanced JavaScript is quite demanding, and we really got a really, really short space of time to actually, to actually work on this. I know this is not up for discussion or anything, but we really need more time to actually get to know this course. But personally, I was actually doing prototypes and stuff, but I actually got to know that um, I was actually wondering, is this what we're going to be doing in advanced, in advanced JavaScript? But only to realize after um, doing the ES6 classes that it's actually doable, but still, we really, really need more time to actually get to understand. I would really hate to actually get into something which, which I do not know what I'm doing, you know. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think the the consensus for more time is is quite it's quite spread out. I think everyone wants more time, but I'm just thinking if you're doing this just eight a hours days, a day, just a few days, just a few eight, days, not not a week or anything, just a few. Days. No, think about it. The way the way I thought about it when I was designing this was, if you're doing this eight hours a day, and then you start the first day, you start with, um. You start with what is that 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 pillar where you create? Does anyone know the pillar where you where you create your objects? Uh, 
pillar, the yeah. prototype pillars? Let's yeah, let's say prototypes. You start with prototypes, right? And then before you even move to the other pillars, you would need a day, maybe half a day to understand prototypes and how they work. Because prototypes are just blueprints. It's a prototype. It means blueprint. It means it's a skeleton of what all your other objects will follow, right? And then syntax, syntax, syntax always comes next. Syntax is syntax, right? And then after that, you've you've done half a day on 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 uh, prototypes, and then the next is abstraction, right? You do another half a day on that. So I thought it, if you're doing it eight hours a day, it will take you maybe two to three days to finish the first section on. And that's just learning the theory and getting to understand it. And then ES6 is, is ES6 is just a way to write JavaScript, although it's very important. But also maybe in two days, maybe with another day, then you'll be fine. Then you have a whole week to work on the capstone. This is assuming that you're working on it eight hours a day. If you're not working on eight hours a day, then definitely it's going to take you more time. I completely understand. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how far the progress that you guys make. And then we'll see whether we extend the deadline to at least Friday for the capstone project or yeah, because remember, this is the drop off point. Like what Kenneth is saying in the chat, it it's very challenging and it gets you to question your profession. Really, it really is because this is the, this is the drop off point. I, I completely foresee that this is the drop off point where most people hopefully a few will be required to go back to the uh, main court and join to and the others so that you have a full month to catch up it's not that it's just it's not that you're not good enough it's just that you might need more time that's all uh yes table um i wanted to ask in terms of the project, since we have four pillars of object oriented program, do we have to incorporate all four pillars or is it fine if we choose polymorphism, for example? You don't have to incorporate all four, although it would be nice to see all four, but then you really you rarely have to use all four anyways. So just use the ones that you need. Obviously, you need prototypes and then you need to inherit from them. So those are the two that I, I would say you can't really do much without prototypes and without inheritance. And then the other two, if you need them, you can use them. Yes, John Andre. Okay, so what, what, what are you guys suggesting we do? Um, are we going to have until next week friday then or are we going to keep by the date that you want because that, that will mean we'll we'll need to we'll need to work through the weekend because i mean as you as you've seen i don't know with the, the struggle just to get an answer from people how long do you think it's going to take to collaborate with people to get a job done so that's 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 the main concern here actually um not everyone is available all the time and there should be but they are not. So, um, how do you suggest? What, what, what would you suggest, Captain Larry? It would be nice to hear your opinion on this. Hmm. There's. It has to be done by next week Tuesday. Next week Tuesday is presentations. I'm going. I'm just gonna go on the call and sit and wait to see presentations. And then, we the one of the one of the requirements was. Um, there must be a clear collaboration of teamwork. I mean, a clear sign of teamwork and collaboration. And the team lead will, will tell or let us know that this person did this, this person did that, this person did this. And then immediately then we'll see that, okay, there were some students that did not pull their weight. And then those are the students that will have to join the June cohort. 
that's that's just how it is. The make of it. You you guys have two weeks. There's no we can't extend. We can't extend because imagine someone paid you a hundred K to build an app, right? And they were like, I need it done in two weeks. And you said, yes, fine, I'll be able to deliver in two weeks. And you take their money. Two weeks come, or maybe not even two weeks, well, a week in, and then you start saying, I need more time. It reflects badly on you because they have made plans. They have gone and maybe looked for investors or they've looked for clients or whatever. And they 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 have made decisions and made moves based on your ability to deliver in two weeks so if you come to them with stories it's it doesn't reflect well if you go on the melsoft reviews on clutch right the reason why we have 4.8 not 5 is because on some projects we would delay we would say um we have this happened load shading the laptop blew up whatever excuse it's it still doesn't cut it so if you want to be five stars you have to deliver on time even if you deliver something that's not 100 percent, you have to deliver something i saw a hand from sarge and tafaz sarge you can go first uh, yeah, basically you answered my question about next week Tuesday because I was thinking as much as we all want more time, but the more time we extend, the longer it's also going to take for us to actually complete this course. And sometimes you learn the best when you are put under pressure. It's just how it is. So thank you. Uh, yeah, you answered that for me. Yeah, I, I agree. Also, you guys, you must also know when we when we build some of the courses, like the AI course, right now it's, I would say, 60% complete. We have today and tomorrow to finish up the videos. How disappointed would you be if we postponed it again? Yes, that's so true. Yeah. I uh, saw so Tafazo wanted to say something. Yeah, I wanted to say you already answered it, but um, as being a university student, when you get an extension, you tend to relax. So I actually think that maybe extending is not an option. Maybe, maybe if we update you on how far we've gone, it's up to you to decide to give us an extension, maybe a day before yeah. the presentation, but not to, to give us an extension right now, call it. People tend to relax. That's very true. So yeah, I guess we just have to, to keep you updated on how, how far we've gone with the project and then you will decide to give us an extension or not. Okay, let's see how far how far let's see how far by the um, by Tuesday, how far you guys would have gone. And then we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Because also it means Tuesday you have to start React or the ones that are going through will have to start a new section again, which is more information to learn. So, yeah, it's getting deep. It's getting, it's getting, <laughs> guys, you guys are the high, probably the highest paid people in the world, software engineers and developers. Did you really think it was going to be easy? It's never going to be easy. <laughs> all right any any anything else anyone else with anything yes mr loris thank you so much um okay let me just un video myself quickly so that you can at least see me when i say what i want to say hi everybody i hope you guys are doing well um yeah i've been listening in on the chat and i just want to say guys you will make it okay everyone who is on this chat everyone under the sound of my voice is going to make it guys it's just a matter of passing through this particular phase that you're in right now okay 
And I understand that uh, people might seem as if like we're pressing you too much or we're being harsh on you. But then that's the only way that diamonds can get refined and sold on the market. So if you get a ever get a diamond, it needs to be shined and polished. And that's not going to be easy. That's going to be an abrasive process. And that's exactly what you're going through right now. So the pressure that you're feeling right now, yes, Kenneth, exactly what you're saying. The pressure that you're feeling right now and all of this uh, either anger, sadness or all these feelings that you're getting, Fuel them towards your capstone project. Fuel them towards the prototypes. Okay, you will make it, guys. You will make it personally, on a personal level. I've chatted with all of you guys. I believe you have what it takes. And the reason we're having a drop-off zone in a week is so that we can prove that, guys, we are making star developers. We're making five-star developers. I'm already in contact with a few people that like are in the US and are saying, yeah, Loris, when are the developers coming? And I'm like, soon, soon. So we're also banking on you guys to actually make it. And that's why we put all these mechanisms of an extra meeting. That's why we have these chats with you. And that's most importantly why we put so much pressure on you because we believe you can make it and you will make it, guys. So please just keep on pushing. And if you ever need some some even mental support, I I am here for you guys. Okay, cheers. Well said. Thank you, Loris. That was a really 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 beautiful beautiful two minutes right there. Well said. Thank you for that inspiration and that motivation. I actually need that as well because if you look at my to-do list guys oh my goodness me it is a total mess it is just ridiculous so i'm um, we're all we're all under pressure that's just the way of life in this industry it's a it's a high pressure environment it's a high pressure environment like what Lori said diamonds are only formed under pressure so are you a diamond or are you I don't want to say moissanite because moissanite is really a beautiful stone as well. So just make sure that you're a diamond. So thank you, Loris, for that. Um, wonderful. Wonderful. Anyone else with anything that they want to share? I see John Andres got your hand up again. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't want to ask too much. All I want to know is um, regarding this capstone project that we're going to do, if you could um, possibly just suggest for us, I'm just going to write it down because I don't see, oh, I see Theodora is on here, uh, which is good, uh, which is one of my members also. If you could suggest to us, if we like this time frame we have now, would it be good for a, for a leader to assign certain tasks to someone or to divide the work in four, for example, or to, because if, if someone is not going to participate, then you can see um, basically who didn't do anything um, or he, who, who loathed or who watched TV too much or, who, yeah, I don't know. What would you suggest if you, from your point of view, being a developer, how would you go to work with that? And I'm new to that, so I would like to just hear your opinion of that. Okay. All right. Great. Great. So in a typical dev team, these are the people that you have in a typical uh, industry dev, right? You have a front end dev. This person, okay. The first person is a UI UX designer. This is the person who just designs the look and feel in Figma. But in this, in this setup that we have, we don't have a UI UX. So your front end developer is going to be responsible for UI UX. So this person is responsible for the look and feel of everything. So that's your HTML, your CSS, and your bootstrap. Then you also have a back end person. So the, the back end, what they do is they write the logic. So this person writes the, the JavaScript in this case. So what you can do, you can have two. You can have two people on front end and two people on back end. And then amongst them, they can divide tasks between each other and work together. And then when you guys meet as a team, you connect the front to the back. But that's, yeah, that's that's the, that's the easy part. When all the, the functions and the objects have been defined clearly in the back and the front is looking well, 
now it's just a matter of getting the class names that are in the front and incorporating them to the back. So that's that's how I would suggest. Tebo, you can also share how you guys are doing it. I saw how you guys are doing it, and I, I think I had a positive comment on that as well. Yeah, it's similar to what you were saying. So Kenneth and I will be doing the, the logical part of it, which is the development. And then I'm also in control of the landing page. Then Kanye will be taking care of the features of the pages. And then I think Janine is doing the login page. So we just we also just working based on what your strengths are. For example, Kenneth is very strong in the JavaScript part. That's why I partnered with him. And then Janine likes the front end as well. So I think focusing on your strengths as a team, then you're able to know who to dedicate to one. Okay, we'll see it, we'll see it. Janandri, please don't hesitate to ask as many questions as you have. Please don't hesitate. Because also, when you ask a question, it helps everyone on the call. So we really need, we really appreciate that level of engagement. So, yeah, Theodora, is there anything on your side? I see you're doing very, very well, and I'm very impressed. Hi, guys. Is it just me? Let me know. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm saying it's been quite challenging for me, but I've been putting in the effort and I'm dedicated to working through these challenges and... Yeah, I just feel like there had to be like a bit of shifting in the mindset and sort of understanding of these concepts. Because it's different and it's coming into handy. And I've been like putting in considerable effort to grasp these principles and techniques. And I'm still in the process of fully uh, internalizing them. So. All right. Okay. So another thing that I would suggest for you guys is when you're going through the concepts, rather than trying to memorize them and fully understand the theory aspect, just go on to your project, start working on your project. And then when you need something, you can always go back to it. You can always revert back to the documentation. Right? So you want, you really want to be project first and then documentation after sometimes when you get you will get to the level where you don't even need to look at documentation you don't even need to know how something works you will get to that level especially if you if you're if you're working with something for for so long right if you've worked with a certain api for so long you don't need to constantly go back to the documentation so in the in the real world, I'm just thinking when I'm building, especially this uh, the the Mouse of the Academy app that we're working on. Sometimes you don't even know where to start. You don't even know where on earth am I going to start. Okay, fine. Let me just start. Like with um, with the leaderboard, it was it was like okay, well, how do we score, right? Then you just start right. You just start writing the the algorithm. This is how we want it to work, like this, like this, like this, like this. Then you start implementing the code, start looking for plugins that can do that because there are things called plugins that you will learn a bit later and packages, right, in Node. Find the, the, the relevant plugins, then train yourself to that plugin, then incorporate it. So it's, it's always best to do, 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 do. Then when you get stuck, go back to the documentation and the notes and the videos incorporate what you have learned back into your project and continue doing that's the best way to learn uh, yes Theo. well actually i actually saw on the on the portal while i was going through the notes and stuff and there was this other 
section where we were talking about the certificate uh, uh, JS and I went through that and looks like I'm going to have to write an exam. That's why I was actually pre- over preparing for this. Mm. I'm not sure if I'm confused or what, but that's what yeah. made me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if, you, if you're studying for the exam, then that's different. This is why also certifications and accreditations and all these things, they're nice things to have. But then we don't, I don't want to say we don't like them. Please do the certifications, get accredited and all that. But the best way to learn is not by cramming so that you can pass an exam. We all know that. It's just that in certain companies, they have they have outdated recruitment policies where they're like, we need to see a certificate if we want, if you if you need to. If we want to hire you, we need to see something that's accredited because the people that are hiring are not technical. That's the reality. So, yeah, we, we just have to get the certificates. We do we need we do what we need to do. But honestly, the best way to learn is not by cramming to pass an exam. I'm just going to be honest. Oh, yes, Theo. Okay, I'm on sad. I think. All right. All good. Anything from anyone? Nothing from nobody. Mm. All right. Thanks, Tash. All good. Yes, Theodora. I'm sorry. So with the with the uh project thing, the group uh project the ticket. So and if other people, other participants actually not participating, so what do we do? We do the work and report when we're done or we just have to push. I don't know. I don't know if I'm clear, Evan. Mm-hmm. If I was in your shoes and I'm working with an, another developer who's not pulling their weight and I know my neck is on the line, I'm not going to wait for them. I have to just assume the responsibility, take take over. And it's sad, right? It's it's really sad. But I, I can testify to situations like that when a team member would come up with excuses every single week to say that the reason why they didn't deliver is because of xyz every single week and it made us look very very bad to the client so it just got to the point where you were, i was like because i would i i was oh i am the ceo i have to report to the client i had to just go in there and fix the problem myself whether that was by hiring other developers, replacing the devs or whatever, you just have to take responsibility and not let the underperforming team members mess up your entire team. So that's what I would recommend. I don't know if it's a bit toxic because what else are you gonna do when when someone's not cooperating? What else are you going to do? You've tried everything, right? You tried to reach out, you tried to call. You've tried to to listen to Loris' motivation uh, on TED Talks and everything, but they are still not responding. What else are you going to do? Uh, yes, John Andre. Oh, you could try to send a smoke signal. Sorry? You could try to send a smoke signal. If the WhatsApp I, is not going to. Ah, uh, it still won't work. <laughs> it still won't work. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I guess the biggest takeaway that you guys are learning is that you you... You meet different people in in this in this industry. You meet different people. There are companies where someone, the person who was hired, was hired because 
they they have their dad knows someone or whatever. There are situations like that where the person that you're sitting next to is probably making more money than you, but is not a better developer. In fact, they are a horrible developer. They come to work on Monday and they're drunk, but you're on the same project. It happens more than you think. And you just have to step up. You just have to show them that, okay, fine. You, you guys you guys might have put this guy as my senior or whatever, but we can clearly tell that this guy is out of his mind. And it's your opportunity to step up and show that you can take responsibility, show that you are reliable, and you will be you will be so richly rewarded if you can just be reliable. That's another another soft skill that people take for granted. Reliability is crucial. If you say you're gonna do something on a certain day and you do it on that day, and you continuously do it your reputation will go yeah that is that is a big big skill because nowadays we're getting we're getting a lot of devs that take an online course they take something on youtube or udemy or whatever and then they call themselves a developer right and then they get a project they burn a client because they really don't know what they're doing and then developers in general we're now getting a bad reputation for scamming people, for burning people and all these things. So if you are someone who proves that you can be trusted, you prove that you're reliable, you're consistent, you answer the phone, you're there when you're called, already you have a big leg up and that's huge. That's a huge green flag to have. And based on the fact that we've been together for about what four months now five with others three with some we do we know their names that we can rely on and their names that still need to prove themselves and we hope we hope we can all get there and we will like what laura said you guys have got this please don't let me scare you I've I've been I've been going through this accelerator for the last three months now and they've kind of hardened us a little bit. So please don't think that I'm not I'm 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 hard or anything. I'm 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 just raising the expectations. <sighs> All right, if there's nothing else. Any last words from anyone before next week's presentations? <laughs> Tebo, nothing from you? Uh, nothing from me except, guys, um, I think we can do this. I mean, we made it this far, guys. We can't give up now. I really believe in us and happy coding, everyone. All right, awesome. So I'll just leave Loris uh, after. Okay, Janander will go. Then Loris, you can you can motivate us again. Oh, uh, you're on mute, Janander. Oops, sorry. Um, but I wanted to say is I can see two faces on here. So if I assume everyone else's faces also looks like this today. Uh, I also felt like giving up, um, you know, it's it's becoming very challenging and especially working with everyone and not getting cooperation everywhere and all that. But yeah, we, we, we came this far, we spent this much time on it, we need to stay motivated, we need to, we need to, to help each other, we need to encourage each other. Uh, you need you need to find yourself that that one friend or that one buddy that that, that you can rely on actually, that's what you need. And uh, that's always there for you. Uh, so yeah, guys, good luck. Uh, I'm actually talking to myself also here yeah, because I also need it. But um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for your support, man. Thank you, John. Amazing stuff. Amazing. And just to echo what you're saying, for me, that's that's literally my brother. I remember last night. I think we were in the office at like eleven. And I'm looking down and I'm like, I, I can't do this. I can't. And he's just like, no, you can. 
you you can you can so again if you're an if you're one person and you're trying to do it on your own you you're most likely not going to make it but then if you if you put yourself in a community and that's why we push these meetings that's why we push the community based aspect of this boot camp it becomes more doable like i don't know if you guys are looking on my linkedin i think i posted a, a post last night saying we dare not give up and that was literally in the middle of the night and i'm like yeah we dare not give up still the day has been terrible but we're not gonna give up and all of you guys are not gonna give up i don't believe in that and if anyone feels like they want to drop out they have to talk to me first before they go so no one's no one's going anywhere but happy coding just say discipline like what mr larry is saying never ever give up and we are proud of each and every single one of you guys for getting this far surely god sees all of this and he will reward you handsomely so be blessed and cheers bye <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> Cheers to Shleen. Bye.